This is called What is So Bad About CIA Drone Bombing. Anyhow. One, the government, or something resembling a government, using intelligence, labels suspect persons, typically sovereign, brown-skinned persons in other countries and as targets. Two, something like a government uses a drone bomber to murder the sovereign, typically brown-skinned, labeled people, some of whom turn out to be mothers, school kids, old people minding their own business in their own towns, mud buildings, schoolhouses. Three, something like a government does this in our name with our money. Whole villages, whole countries, whole regions become even more our enemy, some who may have had no previous reason to be so. Four, this carried out by 20-year-old workers sitting in trailers at video screens, receiving orders from something like a government with our money in our name. Five, many of the trailers right here in fabulous Nevada paid for with our money. Six, something like a government acting on advice from the MIC wants to do this more and more. A future of global terrorism fighting, swarms of drones destroying targets. Seven, it seems difficult to determine which side is the terrorist to which they refer. Eight, the events of 9-11 happened, and shortly thereafter, large parts of the world seemed to understand the anger the events triggered. But the commencement of perpetual war on terror to be carried out by countless drones until we're mostly all dead is not much of a feature really and like nuclear war is something we should try to avoid nine I'm not sure what to do about all that other than get in the government's face all of us and ask them to stop taking the fight to them and simply stop the fight ten why can't the fight be about intelligence rather than escalating ill-justified killing? Is this too much to ask? Postscript, President Obama has approved 30,000 domestic drones over U.S. airspace. Thank you very much.